Believe it or not, it's already time for baseball season and the Juniata baseball team starts in just a few short days. Prior to the start of the season, I caught up with new head coach Jesse Leonard and a few standout players to discuss the upcoming season and how preseason is going. Um, well, I think preseason's been good because we picked off, uh, picked up from where we had started in the fall. We had a good fall, uh, good off-season regiment as well, and uh, kind of hit the ground running. Uh, it's a little tough being inside from time to time just because uh, you know baseball is an outside sport. But we've been fortunate with the weather this year to get outside once or twice, and uh, hopefully today as well. So. The team has already seen a lot of growth throughout the preseason and senior Matt Fritz and middle infielder Brad Medellin have already identified some key strengths of the team. Well, uh, first and foremost, I think it's our, our quickness. I think we're a pretty athletic team. Um, we're going to put the ball in play and think good things are going to happen and that's got to be our mentality. Um, I, I think we're, we're going to be a lot sharper defensively this year. I think we've, we've uh, really you know, put an onus on on making sure we, we make the smart plays, the routine plays, and that was something we kind of you know, uh, got us into trouble last year, you know, not making the routine plays and kind of getting a little sloppy, and you lose ball games like that. So we're looking to correct that, and I think we have a smart team too, and that's really important. I'd probably have to say our, our hitting lineup. I feel like overall as a team, we're, our hitting is pretty good. It's just going to be a matter of fact of our pitching and defense can back it up. The Eagles returned 20 names to this season's roster and are looking to the returners to make a big impact and help the team that was just selected as number six in the landmark preseason poll win a conference championship. Well, uh, you know, a guy like Matt Regan, he's, he's probably going to be one of the top pitchers in the league. In my mind, he's, 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 he's first. Um, you know, he's, he's a great, great kid, great pitcher. Um, and, he, you know, he wants to win just as bad as anybody else does in terms of in hitters getting guys like Russ Gray and, and his brother Dan. Like I said, pitching's gonna be big this year, so we really need Will Hoffman and Ryan Morrison to do good. Uh, you know, we have, we have a lot of speed in our lineup. You know, we have Matt Fritz in left field, Ben Mersky in center, and Chase Dykes in right, so they're all just gonna have to, you know, hit the ball and fly around and make some plays for us this year. The newcomers to the program are also going to have the opportunity to impact the team's success this season. Yeah, we're a little short on the pitching staff right now, so we need some help there. And um, Fulton's going to come a big for us this year. He's a, he's a left-hander, so we really need him not to come in along with uh, Ryan Morrison and Will Hoffman this year. Um, another one would be Cody Kreps. He plays uh, third base. I think he'll mix in. He's been hitting the ball really well in the winter. We have a transfer in Derek Heath, second baseman who's uh, going to really help us out in the infield too and provide depth there as well. Um, and then we have guys like uh, Nick Stubbs and, and Hunter Phillips, the you know, athletic kids coming from the football team. I think they're going to help us out a lot too. Um, so there's some there's, you know, bright futures for a lot of kids. Uh, With the combined efforts of the returners and newcomers, the Eagles are hoping to accomplish their goals for the season. I think we're okay with being a little bit of an underdog to start. Uh, we've got some great senior leadership so far with, with the goals and you know, hoping to win every series, uh, make a solid run into the playoffs and, and see where we go from there. And you know, hopefully, uh, I think it would be a misfortune for us to think of anything less than a conference championship as our goal, so that's kind of what we're, we're shooting for. Returning all-conference hurler Matt Regan shared just how excited the squad is to get the season underway. I can't wait for Florida personally. I think that's going to be the best part. I mean, it'll be my last time doing it. It'll be, you know, real excited to get down there and start the year off in some 70 degree weather. But, you know, in hopes to make the conference tournament this year, I mean, I really think that that's where you have to start. That's where you have to start winning games and, you know, building your team. But spring break isn't all fun and games to Coach Leonard. Sure, yeah, I mean, that's exciting, and that's a tough gig because, you know, it, it is nice to be south, uh, playing on some nice fields, great weather, great competition, but, uh, you know, uh, there is eight games to play in a short amount of time, so uh, we're going to kind of figure out who we are, get some identity amongst the team as well, kind of see where we stand, and amongst some adversity just uh, with good teams and multiple games in a short period of time. But. Juniata kicks off the season on Sunday, February 26th at Bridgewater College in Virginia. Juniata will then head to Winter Haven, Florida for spring break to compete in a nine-game series. For JuniataSports.net, I'm Kaylee McCool.